As the Omicron variant rages, the virus is infecting the homeless at an alarming rate. Today, Team 12's Josh Sanders returned to circle the city's COVID-19 hotel, where patients have nearly tripled since we reported from there just two weeks ago. Inside a room at the Extended Suites Hotel off the I-17, 67-year-old Valley native Lovia Primus is receiving his morning check-in from Circle the City's medical team. No signs and symptoms of the COVID. His Bible on the nightstand, the Army veteran relying on his faith throughout the pandemic. Hope is the evidence of things not seen. Needing anything from us, like uh, or something like that? Things could change overnight. Your finance, your bank account, everything, it depletes with your health. He lost his apartment last year after a stroke forced him out of work on his way to temporary housing, but testing positive for COVID-19 this week. We separate because of the pandemic, but it teaches the heart how much we need one another. Two rooms down from Lovia is Gregory Bolden, asymptomatic and battling bone cancer. I got to pray. I got to be strong. Hopefully things will get better. The current wave of Omicron is crashing down on the homeless community. When I was here Christmas Day, the Circle of the City team was caring for 25 patients. Two weeks later, it's in the mid-90s. If we didn't have the hotel, these people would be out there on the street trying to recover from this without any help or support, and a lot of them wouldn't make it. Circle the City nurse practitioner Monty Heron and the medical team are working around the clock as more patients test positive, the surge taking a toll. I was up to about 3 o'clock this morning doing charting, then I'm back here today. We have 10, 12 new intakes. Patients staying at the hotel are likely a significant undercount of how many people experiencing homelessness are testing. And so you got to keep hoping, keep hope alive, you know, and you have to live every day. Enjoy the moment. You know, a lot of people haven't learned to enjoy the moment. Circle the City says the facility can house 147 patients. However, they're hoping it won't get to that point. Josh Sanders, 12 News.